All right, moving ahead with the assembly of the RX-78 II for the uh, custom build of my GBW build. I'm going to begin removing some of these parts from the trees. We're not doing this a step-by-step -step video series where, you know, you're seeing me assemble the inner frame, the outer frame, and all that stuff. We're going to snap and build this, but I just want to take these off the, tree, the plastic so you guys can see it. the parts. Here are the metal and plastic parts for the chain. Something that I probably will not be using on this build because of my custom design. I don't think a ball chain is required. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need these. Not even that, too. So we'll put that in the box. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's going to be any leftover parts because we're going to be using everything other than that, besides the ball. You know how, like, uh, Bandai seems to have e extra parts laying around. And this is, since this is an older build, you pretty much utilize everything. I'm going to have fun with this. I really am. This will definitely bring me back from the days when I started building way before YouTube, by the way. Way before YouTube. I'm going to need to access this because there are parts here that I have to utilize. I have another RX-72 Gundam kit that I built a while back, and I have the bazookas and the beam rifle, and I'm going to probably scavenge those as well to use in this build. But this is very nice detail. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, uh, all the, many people will argue the 3.0 is better, and yes, it is. But for what it, for when this came out, this was actually the, the highlight of everybody's life when they saw the 1.5 version of this when it came out. Now I see that this is parts farming hands. So this is not the standard, you know, finger grip that we all are accustomed to from the classic kits. That's okay. I don't mind that. This uh, creamy red is, is annoying, but it's understandable. Let's begin uh, checking out everything, and I'll begin assembly. All right, so I did say that I was going to show off the final build, uh, the inner frame of the RX-782, but I definitely need to begin the assembly of this and show that how it is, how it looks like. Um, I had, it takes a long time to remove it from the sprue itself, because there's like multiple layers. And for those of you who don't remember how it looks, uh, this one is like two layers in one, reminiscent only to the RX, the uh, real grade version of this. Uh, and of course, you have to snip it off in areas that will allow you to move and bend and, you know, simulate the, the hydro hydraulics. Let me just get this one out of here, but I'm going to need that and that soon. So, how this works, I believe you got to be in this position. This one you pull down. No, you take out. It is a pain to remove these. These parts have been there for ye for years. And supposedly that you can use this as a guide for some other things. Um, just want to remove that. Come on. Jesus. Wow. I'm going to have to do the old back and forth routine. There we go. Now this little notch here is to be used to pull out the hydraulic so that way it can open and close. If you don't do this it may stick and pop out of the uh, out of the hole 
Here we go. There we go, like that. And that connects to there, like so. Pull this one out like so. There we go. All right, so I take that, put that here, take this, bend it and put it there. Put that there too. All right, so that completes that. You have this part that goes in like this way. Like that way. There we go. Alright, now, this is the fun part. In this position, correction, that position, take this, put it through here, and find the whole notches that go there. Flip it about, put that one here, like so. And uh, you're going to take... Where is it? Yep, here we go. S the screw, stick it here. You could probably relax it a bit because you're going to need to put the square peg there. The square um, nut bolt. And using a little screwdriver. Turn. Turn slow. You don't have to do fast until you feel a little bit of tightness. There we go. That's stuck in the play right there. All right. Now, I think you need to take this. Hmm. Did I do that wrong? Because that goes there. That covers up this. Uh, yeah. I think I did that wrong. Take that out. I think that goes like that. Okay, I think that goes like that. Let me, let me look at the instructions again. So... Ah! I made a big mistake. <laughs> and I did it on this leg, too. Shit. So... It, it's not a bad thing. I guess I'm going to have to take this off. I thought I did it wrong, and I did it wrong. Yes, I did. I did it wrong. Make sure I'm looking at the right ones. So that goes like that. And now I gotta do this. Well, at least this is done, but take this hydraulic. No, not that one. This one. Stick that through here. And that catches through there. And we take this part, which is the nub there. There's a little guide uh, piece of uh, peg there. Actually, that's not for that. <laughs> There we go. As you see, this is done. But going back to this, so, yeah, I had it right the first time. I thought I didn't have it right because I didn't see the orientation and how it looked. Ah, I try to get in, getting this in here is not that simple. And I think now we know why they made a 2.0. Alright, so now we guide this through there, through the guide there. And... Oh, no, I heard it right the first time. Bring it down a tad. Bring that here, like so. Alright, good. So that's done. And then for this side... Put 
put that there. Make sure you find the hole. And we have this one. And then you close it up right. This one's going to be a, a bit tough because it was gave me a, a bit of a trouble doing this. And where did I put the poly cap? Oh, there. Because it has to go upside down on this one. And try to get the orientation is not that easy. There we go. No, 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 we need this, that's right, and it goes under, so, there we go, didn't want to make it a too long video just for me assembling a, a stupid leg, there we go. Yeah, this is how the legs look. All right, so cool. Bit of a mistake, but we recovered. No big deal. And in reality, these will these parts will be covered because of the peg that's going to go in there as well. So let's put it together and see how it looks. All right, so here is what the RX-72 Gundam inner frame looks like without its armor. Technically, it's not bad for all you guys to see. Sorry if this would offend you ladies out there. Um, but clearly this is not the 1.5 version. I think the legs could be the 1.5 version, but this is not. Because I remembered vividly that when I built the 1.5, this came with the core booster. This one does not. I guess they decided to do this um, for cost and you know for the game that came out so I wouldn't have mind building another core booster but seeing the absence of it alright fair enough it's one less part to build somewhat um, the assembly of the legs was really nice it bring, brings me back the arms are nice too the only difference is that there's nothing holding up here so don't start moving around this thing actually comes up really easily like you see there and the part is being held there so unless you have the armored part on it it's going to come off I know for you diorama fans who would like to probably make a um, base stand you know not base stand um, a hangar bay with this kit and then show off the inner frame there's some great details on the leg of course and the arm um, chest area not too much though don't see that much but it is what it is and there is no inner frame for the head so I went ahead and assembled the uh, the head um, I haven't sanded it down yet there's only these a nub mark there and there and then right on top of there so I'll just put that there for now so you guys can see it I don't know, it feels a little scrunchy though. I don't feel like its head is uh, up and about. And then of course I had to assemble the feet because these parts here did not stabilize the the, uh, the body. Um, it is, it's pretty good though, I like the feet. It has a good stability on it so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the one thing I'm, I was a bit surprised, and obviously this is an old kit, the waist unit. This uh, little part there, the, the, the actual part that holds this, is one part. Which of course can be shifted, I believe, if I, if I can do it right. Maybe forward and back, so this goes... Hang on a second, I'm going to split it a bit. Goes like that, if you want them to sit, in that, sit down. But then of course, I guess, to specific pose and then back to the way it was. I know I think in 2.0 and later, the 3.0, this is a little a different construction. But it's neat. I like it. And uh, this is of course what it looks like without the armor. And here it is with its armor on. 
Wow. Quite an enjoyable build, I have to say. This is actually, actually technically, my third RX-782 Master Grade I've built. Because I built the 1.5 a long time ago. Built the 3.0. Oh, and I built the, um, the one-year war version, but not this one-year war version. So, that no, it's four. Four RX-782s. Uh, Don't know where the other one is. I thought I'd, I'd probably put it away or something like that. But this was a very nice build. I have to admit. Very nice, very sweet. Simple and easy. And, I have to say, holding it in my hand, a strong build. A strong kit. I'm not as delicate as the 3.0. Which I was not fond of. Yes, the 3.0 is, is a technical marvel. But, when you want something that has a little bit of a heft. That has a little bit of weight to it. That you know it's a solid build. This is it. This is the kit that uh, that you have right here. And I'm glad that I won this. Oh, wow. I really am. This is going to be an interesting uh, build for me for this, um, for GBWC. Considering, look at the, uh, the level of detail. Check this out. On all aspects. Here, here, and the arms here. There's, there's, in, there's engraving areas here that I would say um, would be what it would look like if you want to um, oh how can I say this like in the perfect grade there are areas where the parts actually open up and expose the internals um, you don't have that here except I believe you can lift this up to expose this back part of the leg let me see if that works and I believe this part like this because this thing go comes up but you got to be very careful with that. So that comes up up to there if you want to do some, you know, diorama type setups. But, uh, yeah, this is really nice. And wow, it's getting hot in here again. I just turned this off because I was like a little too warm, uh, too cold, but now it warmed up. Turn this on again. There we go. I didn't, uh, I assembled the shield, it's over there, but I didn't put the inside part to hold it. Nor did I finish up or do the uh, bazooka and the beam rifle. That's technically going to be for later. I'm, and I'm going to be using that for my diorama. Which, if, not diorama, my custom build. Which, now that I'm looking at it, I have to visualize how I'm going to make this into my own version of of a deep striker like setup for for the RX-78 too with the assault pack. Now I don't know how big the assault pack is because I'm kinda saying to myself you probably have the little modules here and and then the guns over here hitting that but the whole purpose is the purpose of this is just to get a f overall feel of how it would look right now. Um, there's definitely areas that I need to sand down sand, sand down clean up and all that stuff um, because once it's done, I'm going to work. Uh, once I'm done cleaning this and or whatever, I'm going to now get the other kit and assemble the deep, the uh, assault pack, it's, and then put it side by side, and then work my way on work, how to see how I can work the assault pack around the RX-782, and then where will I begin the the customization the kit bashing and all that stuff. This guy is not going to be damn not going to be gutted up or any type like that. I may end up doing something like little minute details and whatnot, but other than that, I think the this is okay for what it is. Um there is this little part here that I'm actually looking at the manual because see this part here you have um You gotta paint the inside of that, so it looks like that. Maybe if I get the sides inside and then expose it, that'll be nice. That's interesting. Um, now that I'm reviewing it at this moment. <laughs> wow, this is really beautiful. I, I've enjoyed this. This is really nice. <laughs> It, for what it's worth, if, if I never, if I don't even enter a GBWC, this is still 
worth it just seeing it right here right now all right I'm gushing too much let's begin working on the assault pack and see how it looks